We seem to have everyone. Stasis reports. Internal security remains solid. I've caught two Republic spies since Osis. Both were disguised as cargo pilots seeking work. Unfortunately, they fled before they could be caught and interrogated about their specific objectives. Don't stop looking just because you've found a few spies. Being discovered might have been their mission all along. Decoys to make us feel like we've won. It's certainly possible. I'll double our efforts. My assets have brought in solid intel from all of the major battles along the front lines. I'll keep forwarding everything to Baywon for analysis. My people are using that intel to create new write-ups for the major field commanders on both sides. Should help us predict strategic probabilities going forward. Until we get a specific request for aid, I've deployed our fleet in a defensive posture around Odessan. There's, uh, one other matter we should discuss now that you're aligned with the Empire again. We've accomplished a lot here. I'm proud to have worked under your command. We've made the galaxy a better place. But I'm also proud of my past. I served the Republic for years. I can't fight them, so I'm retiring. I've recommended a replacement, Commodore Pardax. Ex-Imperial, very sharp, she'll serve you well. Lana's already vetted her, and I'll stick around long enough to get her up to speed. You've been a huge help to our Alliance, Bay One. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for taking a chance on me. Nothing so dramatic occurring in our science lab. Improvements to Odessa's planetary shields have been successfully completed. All right. Hilo. We've had to step up security for my crews. Piracy is becoming a bigger problem on their runs. Lucky for us, you're friends with Mandalore. Now that word spread that her people are riding along, nobody messes with our transports. Good to hear. Anything else? Santa Ray is touring the reconstruction efforts on Voss, so I believe we're finished. I'd like to say a few words before we end the meeting. Yes, Commander. I want to thank you all for standing by me. We have survived so much, overcome so much. That was only possible because of all of you. The galaxy is as chaotic as ever, but if we stand by one another, we'll find our way through. You can count on us. There was one final matter for you. Lord Izar, a representative of the Imperial Outreach Division, has asked to speak with you. I've loaded his frequency into your holocom. Thought we could use a moment alone. I have to admit it's weird fighting against the Republic. Probably should have seen a day like this coming. Somehow I just never did. I get it. They've never once had your back over the years. Suresh brought out the worst of them. Even so, I need to know you're in this to win a war, not to crush my old home into dust. We do only what's needed to win. I want security and prosperity for the Empire. Not the total destruction of the Republic. Then we're on the same page. I'm glad we could talk. I'll catch you later. Exactly. I serve within the Imperial Outreach Division. Specifically, I seek out opportunities to inspire greatness among our noble frontline soldiers. Darth Krovos is giving a speech to our forces gathered at Viking Space Dock in preparation for their deployment. This could be an opportunity to say a few words of your own. Your actions have made you a living legend, after all. Certainty of victory inspires confidence. Hearing that you are out there fighting the same fight they are, will undoubtedly instill that confidence in our troops. What do you want me to say, exactly? Tell them your story. Tell them how your love of the Empire has inspired you. Above all, tell them they will win. We shall await your arrival with bated breath. Safe travels.
NRO2, did you set up this speech to the troops on Viking Space Dock? No, but Lord Izar is correct in his assessment. This is an excellent opportunity to inspire confidence in the Empire's troops. Inspire troops are capable of fighting at capacities near 83% above baseline. Speak well and victory will follow. Darth Krovos is just finishing up. Follow me. I can sense the strength in each and every one of you. The passion for victory and the power to achieve it. At the muzzles of your blasters, at the points of your blades, our ancient enemies shall finally be destroyed for the Empire! We meet again. Zosha and her family send their regards. With your alliance fighting alongside the Empire, victory is within our grasp. Congratulations on joining the Dark Council. Thank you. I hope to serve our Empire as ably as you have. They're all yours. Darth Krovos spoke the truth. Victory over the Republic is inevitable. The Republic is weak and cowardly. They will never be able to stand against us. You are soldiers of the Sith Empire. The greatest army to ever march across the galaxy. You will board your ships, take up your weapons, charge into the heat of battle and win! for the Sith Empire! To your ships! Well done, Commander. Simple and to the point, like a fine weapon. A bit simplistic, perhaps, but clearly effective. I appreciate your time, Commander. I look forward to working with you again someday soon. You effectively whipped up their fervor for victory, Commander. Excellent work.